Hello and welcome back to our next week of summer school. Uh, in this video I'm going to walk you guys through the rubric for your literary analysis and I'm also going to talk about how to set up your video that's due on Friday. All right, as you can see this week uh, I'm going to go over the self-selected literary analysis review. Um, this is actually going to be due on the 23rd which is on Thursday. I'm extending it one day so that you guys have a little bit of more of a chance to make sure that this is ready to go. Uh, and then you're going to have a self-selected presentation, which is just going to be a video of you talking about your book, and that's going to be due on Friday. So on this sheet, you are going to find a breakdown of everything that you need to know about this assignment. So a literary analysis is basically where you spend some time with a piece of work. So it can range from a video clip all the way up to a full-length novel. Um, a lot of these are just a way to understand and deep dive into a piece of work. So this is going to be a very condensed version. Uh, what you will actually write if you take college English is going to be a lot more detailed and in-depth, but this is just to kind of get your feet wet when it comes to what you need to expect in the fall. So the first thing that you need to do is identify what you're going to argue or discuss in your paper. This is actually um, what's here in gray is in your discussion post. So if you go to your uh, week July 20th through the 24th, you'll see this breakdown right here that kind of just provides an example of the topic. So let me break that down for you. Basically, you need to find something in your book that you want to talk about or argue. And I provided a couple ideas to kind of get you started as you think about your book. So you can identify a particular theme. So I kind of said like in Harry Potter, you could say friendship is a theme. You could say that for any of the books. So this is my thesis for that. Throughout the series in, uh, sorry, that should be of Harry Potter, the main character often finds peace and joy in his friends, even though he is surrounded by troubles. So in, the, in my essay, I'm going to talk about how he still finds peace and or joy through his friends, even though he is constantly hounded by all of these horrible things. Um, and I kind of break that down here. You could also analyze how a character acts or why they act a certain way. So in The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, the main character would, or sorry, the main character star is able to shine through her voice as she slowly learns the power of her words. Uh, so in this example, I would prove how star has used her voice to make an impact. Um, and I could get into a lot of different things, but this is just like the premise of my thesis to kind of talk about a specific character or why or how she learns to do something. You could analyze the setting or imagery or plot or dialogue um, and how that influences a story. So here's an example to that. In To Kill a Mockingbird proves how the impact of a small town and prejudice can lead to false accusations. Um, and then this essay would show an example of how prejudice and setting can influence a story. Um, so like, if you've never read To Kill a Mockingbird, it kind of takes place in the South and also uh, in the 1930s. So civil rights had not happened and there's still a lot of racial tension in the world, um, which kind of leads to this whole storyline being developed. Uh, you could also describe who this story would be best for. You could interpret how the author chose to write this novel or why. Um, and then I said, etc. There's so many things you could choose to focus on. If you're struggling, these are great things that you could consider. You're not doing all of them. You're kind of just picking one. Um, so that's what I kind of put here. So again, uh, you guys are going to post what your argument is. And that is right here. I need this today by 4 p.m. So you need to make sure that that gets turned in so that I have a chance to give you feedback. I don't know why it says do on the night 18th. It'll, it'll be changed to today. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, moving forward. Uh, next up, you are going to write your literary analysis. This again is meant to be a shortened version, um, over an actual analysis. And I have an outline below that I'll kind of break down. Then you're going to create a video, which again, I'll dive into here in a second. Um, so as the outline goes, you're going to have your intro paragraph. Uh, you just kind of introduce the title, author, genre, a short summary. This must be short. I know you guys have either really liked your book or could talk about it for ages, but please try to keep it to four to five sentences. Um, this is going to be important when you definitely get into your 
college papers because if they say they want it short, it has to be short. Uh, and then your thesis statement, look up above to see those examples. Your body paragraphs, you're only going to be required to, um, and that's basically where you're going to provide evidence to support your thesis statement. Uh, so for your topic sentence, for each of for each of the evidence paragraphs, you have to choose a similar idea um, from your thesis to focus on. And then I have quote or quotes from the book. You need at least one quote per body paragraph. Uh, if you do multiple, just make sure that you're citing them. And then make sure that you explain each quote, that you're not just going quote, 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 quote. You need to insert your own text into it. You also need to make sure you are citing your quotes. Even if you read this book on a Kindle device, you have the ability to cite the pages. And then you have your transition sentence, which just wraps up the idea in this paragraph and ties it into the next one. So that's the same for this body paragraph. And then you have your conclusion where you're just going to restate your thesis, wrap up any information discussed, and important things to remember from what you mentioned. Uh, this, the rubric's going to be down below, but each paragraph must have five sentences. You have to have a work cited for uh, your book and then have an in-text citation with each quote. Uh, this is going to be an MLA format. Uh, you should never include first person in a professional essay. This means I, me, my, we. Um, and then read the rubric on the bottom page to kind of see the breakdown of grades. As for the self-selected video, you are going to record a video of yourself explaining the book. If you feel uncomfortable being in front of the camera, you can do a screen recording using QuickTime, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. These are the questions that you need to answer. So who is the author, title, and genre? What would you say the theme of the book is? You can click on this link and it'll take you to this page that kind of just breaks down how to identify a theme, what is a theme, and kind of stuff like that. Um, and then tell us a short summary. This should be in your own words. So if you're telling me the summary and I can find it on the back of the book or anywhere else, that's going to be plagiarism. So just make sure that you are coming up with your own summary of the book. And then finally, tell me if you would recommend this book or not. So out of five stars, what would you give it? And then just make sure you practice so that you are ready to go and you know what you're going to say moving into it. All right, so there are essentially going to be two ways that you can do this whole book explanation or video recording. So I'm doing a movie recording on my QuickTime right now, which you all should have on your computer. You just can go onto the search bar in the Mac corner and then type QuickTime and then it pops up. Once you do that, if you go to File and then you can either select Movie Recording, Audio Recording, or Screen Recording. If you want it to record your face, you'll do a movie recording. Um, and then you will talk about your book, you'll hold it up um, or show it if you still have it, that would be extremely helpful. Um, and then kind of go from there. Okay, if you are doing a screen recording and you have QuickTime pulled up, you just have to go to File and then hit uh, New Screen Recording and then you have to do a couple movements, but it will record everything on here as well as what is uh, being said through you. From there, I just suggest that you have something pulled up uh, explaining your book, so maybe you want to do a slide to make it look more exciting, um, but that's up to you if you are not going to do the face recording. Just make sure that it looks nice and professional and you're not just staring at a blank screen.